Hi everyone, we're Philip and Mystique, cookbook authors, culinary creators, and the food bloggers behind Chef Suja. And tonight, we're dining in. Welcome to Dining In, where we show you how to make a recipe inspired by a dish from some of our favorite local restaurants. And tonight, we're ordering in from Ali's Roti Shop. Seriously, how you do that? Ali's Roti is a staple in Toronto's Parkdale neighborhood. It's one of many amazing West Indian restaurants on the Strip and is best known for their doubles. For us, it's our go-to spot to pick up roti when we're making curry at home. And tonight we ordered in doubles, chicken paratha, and chow mein. And it smells so good. I know, it's making <laughs> me so nostalgic for my dad's cooking. So growing up, there was always a pot of chow mein on the stove. It was my dad's specialty. It's a little sweet, spicy. Mm. And what I actually love about this dish now that I'm an adult is there's so many vegetables in here. Now it's time for my favorite West Indian food, and that's the doubles. Doubles, mm. for those of you that don't know, it's filled with chickpeas and curry. The way it's actually described on the menu mm. is a chickpea sandwich. I love that they say that, because yeah. it is a chickpea sandwich. <laughs> Good heat to it. This is delicious. Last but definitely not least, look at the size it's of this thing. Huge. We have boneless chicken curry inside paratha, which is like a giant roti. Let's get in. Yeah, let's get in there. With their chicken curry, it's mm. got like a nice spice to it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Nice proportion, like lots of chicken in there, good amount of potato. Okay, their paratha is just, I would just eat it by itself. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Don't get it on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Very much, probably not a good idea. Okay, so we've tried all the dishes and everything was incredible. Amazing. What are you feeling? Well, I can't stop eating this chicken curry. I can see that. <laughs> the chicken curry was actually so delicious. I love the potatoes in there. In any curry, I think the potatoes are just my favorite part. They soak up all the goodness. They're just like rich and creamy. And So clear you're using those. What if we did something with the potatoes and the chicken? What do you think about a curry shepherd's pie. I know traditionally it's lamb, but... No, I love that idea, actually. And we have the perfect vegetables inside the chow mein here. That makes sense. Carrots and peas. So we're just gonna mash up those two I'm dishes. I'm feeling this. All right, we're making a curry chicken shepherd's pie inspired by Ali's roti, chow mein, and chicken curry. Amazing. All the ingredients are prepped, and now it's time to start cooking. So first things first, we're gonna preheat the oven and we're going to boil the potatoes until they're fork tender. Now we can start on the curry, and if there's anything I learned from Mystique's dad, it's that a key to a good curry is all in the spice. We're gonna be using two tablespoons of West Indian curry powder, a tablespoon and a half of garam masala, and half a teaspoon of jeera, which is also known as roasted cumin. To this, we're gonna add enough water just to make it into a paste, and we're gonna to toast this off in some olive oil. Then we're gonna saute the onions in that for about two to three minutes, add garlic and thyme, stir that in, and then finally, we're gonna add the chicken, cook it for about eight to 10 minutes. Once the chicken's cooked, we're gonna stir in some tomato paste and some chicken stock. Then to that, we're gonna add the riri peppers. Once the chicken stock comes to a boil, then we're gonna throw in the diced carrots and the peas, and we're gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes. Okay, so the potatoes are done. We've drained them, and I'm gonna get a bit of a potato facial before we <laughs> rice them. <laughs> if there's any hack out there that you wanna use for mashed potatoes, potato ricer is it. We're just gonna pass it through. Wow. Oh yeah. This oh, is... it does look like rice. Yeah, exactly. All right, check it out. These potatoes are rice. We're actually just gonna return that same pot to heat on high. We're gonna add half a cup of milk and then we're gonna put in the butter. And once that's hot, we're gonna add back the potatoes. And we're just gonna give that a good mix and then we're gonna season it with salt and pepper. It smells incredible in here. It smells so good. The chicken's done. Time for assembly. And this is where the magic happens. So Phil is just going to layer the chicken down in a rectangular pan. Keep it clean. Trying my best. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna top that. I'm just gonna spoon all the potatoes down. And you're just gonna spread it around. Make sure you cover all the corners. Watching the master at work here. Just call me the master potato spreader. <laughs> now you can just leave the topping pretty plain, but 
I like seeing little divots. And then we're gonna put this in the oven and you're gonna see it get all crispy and brown. Oh, wow. Perfectly golden. Mystique, you are the master potato <laughs> spreader. <laughs> this looks amazing. The top is super crispy and under there is gonna be fluffy potatoes and curry chicken. Great job. Mm. Okay, now it's time to play. I can't wait to dig in. Mm -hmm. Here's your fork. Me too. I'm just gonna top it with a little sprig of thyme. Ooh, so fancy. And then we can dig in. I'm so ready for this. Oh man. Smells incredible. Smells delicious. So potatoes are like super smooth. But crispy. You have really nice curry flavor through there. It's the perfect curry shepherd's pie. I have to say, Missy, this was a great idea. This is so good. It actually doesn't taste anything like that chicken curry dish we had, but it still has like the curry flavor in there. These potatoes. Really delicious. You nailed the potato. The next time you're in Toronto, make sure to check out Ali's Roti. And to get the recipe for our curry chicken shepherd's pie, be sure to visit foodnetwork.ca and tell us what you think. Until then, thanks for joining in with us.